The skyline of San Diego has been disrupted by the skyline of New Mexico. The Lobo Bigs have come tonight. 33 of the 41 points, Cameron Barstow and Alex Kirk. How about 11 rebounds between them, four assists, three blocks, and one turnover. This game has been very easy to talk about what's happened. The big men have not in the game. Because it's been a half-court game, the San Diego State pressure has not bothered New Mexico and turned them over. They're in big trouble because these two big guys, they can't do anything with them. And now Steve Fisher has gone to a zone here. The problem with that is it's harder to rebound. It forces a turnover. Now let's see if the Aztecs and stop this run. Thames to Davis. He's a lefty. Davis again. And the Tulane transfer gives San Diego State a rare bucket. Nice second effort there by Davis. Now back into that matchup. 1-3-1 one, one zone. Yeah, I've never seen them do this. I mean, for Steve Fisher to leave his man to man, he's really trying to do something. Coach, desperate times needs desperate measures Don't here. Question. I like it. New Mexico has not hit a three Whoa. in this game. And Neal takes a, a Reggie Miller size three. <laughs> My goodness. I Talk about a freshman not being shy here. Names driving. Kirk stopped him. And a foul will send Spencer to the free throw. I can't believe with Reggie Miller in the house, neither team has hit a three. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed too, Rich. I'm telling you. Uh, zero points from your bench has got to be very discouraging if you're Coach Fisher. And especially the way the bench has played the last couple of weeks. That yeah. means they were giving Akil Cole, Shrigley, they were giving him a big lift. It's a little easier said than done. Williams, Greenwood a three. A miss, San Diego save with a rebound. Thames trying to push tempo. Fires it ahead, Spencer spinning. Terrific catch and finish. That was a big time finish. I mean, it looked to me like, uh oh, this is not going to be a good pass. And Spencer runs the floor hard. The big man, he comes down with this and takes a nice, hard dribble and is able to. Right now, New Mexico's not doing a good job of moving against that 1 3 1. And they get the ball in the corner, and then San Diego State's coming with the trap there also. They've got to reverse this ball, get the ball to the foul line, and reverse it. San Diego State, one of the best teams in the country at rebounding their own missed free throws. Thames with a quick trigger. Well, the energy level is back in the building. Bears goes back in. Williams. A turnover and a foul. And the foul is on Kendall Williams. Isn't it interesting when you bring energy, hustle, Tenacity, four fouls on Kendall Williams for New Mexico. Coach, as far as the selection committee goes, Thames hits a free throw. Regular season conference championship holds a lot of weight, doesn't it? Well, I think what holds weight is if San Diego State were to win this game, they really would be in line for a two seed if they do a good job next week in the tournament. So I, I think it's more winning the game rather than it being a conference championship. And no Kendall Williams on the bench with those four fouls. Your senior leadership, last year's Mountain West Player of the Year. Neal in traffic, loose ball. Aztecs. Bearstow, unstoppable most of the night. The trap in the corner has been tough, too. Greenwood finds Bearstow. Oh, and he's fouled, and he's fouled hard. It's a good foul. And San Diego State, down 16, has drawn within seven. Now you're asking Cleveland Thomas in. This game is still without a three-point field goal. Thames. Nice dunk for Davis. That's what happens when you're the best player on your team. Alex Kirk gives a little too much help, and that leaves Gus Davis open for the dunk. Just the third assist for San Diego State in this ball game. They're starting to look and share the basketball. Holy with a steal. O'Brien, Shrigley. He's fouled. It counts. Bedlam in 
in San Diego. CBS Sports, no three-point play from Shrigley. I mean, they're going to this 1-3-1 on one, a missed free throw three-quarter court. I don't blame them. And since they've gone to the zone, four, to make that five turnovers for New Mexico. Holy! Look how far left this zone is. Coach, you may have to roll the dice and bring back Kendall Williams. I think you have to. Look at it. Look how active Dwayne Poley is at the top of this 1-3-1 one, one zone. Hands active, feet active, eyes engaged on the defense. Thomas blocked! Oh, this pace is crazy in here right now. Thames got it! <laughs> this is unbelievable. What a turnaround for San Diego State. If there's a better guy on the top of that zone than Dwayne Poli, I want to see it. Neal missed the three. Ball is tipped. Aztec ball. Cleveland Thomas went diving into the stands in the front row there, trying to save the basketball. Steve Fisher has gone to the bottom of the barrel <laughs> as he's getting ready to call a timeout here with this 1-3-1 matchup zone that has stifled New Mexico Offense. You know what? Just see what happens is New Mexico was in such a good flow. Yeah. Now you make a change like that, and they have not adapted to it. Let's face it. And now they got, they're on their heels, and the big guys are not touching the ball. The zone is working for them. 17-1 run. The zone. The fourth foul on Kendall Williams. That too. A sellout crowd. That too. A conference title on the line. That too. Yes. National championship games has built a program. Out of nothing here in San Diego. Davis with a steal. O'Brien on the move. Holy in transition. San Diego State has the lead. He just melted away on the road for New Mexico. Guys, it looks like they've never ever seen a zone before in their life. Delaney hits Big a three. Shot. Big the, shot. The, the very first one of the ball game. You gotta attack a 1-3-1 one, one in the corners. Kirk in the middle. Bairstow in the post. Delaney again. Bearstow. It's off his leg. It goes to San Diego State. 12,414 on their feet. A one point New Mexico lead. For San Diego State. Greenwood, Williams, Kirk, Delaney, and Bearstow. For New Mexico. This is Xavier Thames time right now. Shot clock down. Thames in traffic. Thames. Strong move there. Woo. Strong, strong move off the dribble. That's what he does. Couple dribbles, pull up, 12 footer, put it in. 18 fouls on New Mexico. Now that's the 16 foul on San Diego State and Kirk. Misses the free throw, a 67% free throw shooter. They got to be able to box out here. He's can't looking. Allow, can't allow Barristow to get in here and get an offensive rebound. Misses them both. Oh. He was looking right into the show, the student section. What do they say about pressure? It busts what pipes, huh? I think we're going to see a pick and roll here, and Xavier Thames is going to take this. They're going to run it down. Hold it as long as they can, and they get Xavier Thames on a pick and roll to the basket. Greenwood doing a great oh, job of denying things. Dribble, you gotta bounce it. Oh, wow. Whoa! It's a foul on Bearstone. Wow. Well, I would have to see that again. 
<laughs> Where's the foul? <laughs> I still don't understand. Like, what is the official looking at right here? He's calling a foul on Cameron Bairstow right there. That is... Well, hey, you got to move on. It happened, now you move on. J.J. O'Brien goes to the free throw You're line. right, I'm having trouble moving on, <laughs> and I'm not even coaching. Yeah, if you're Coach Craig Neal, you rally the troops. It's the next play, you move on. You potentially could be down three points here. And there's only one of two, so there's still time. You can, you can tie the ball game, potentially win it here. you got to attack. you got to attack this zone with the troops. Be aggressive and try and get something going to the basket now. Williams, they're not aggressive. Got to go. Here's the question: Do they play for the last shot no, here? No, no, they're down. They got to try and make this clock last a while. This is what they're doing now. Is not helping. Williams three missed it badly. Thames has the rebound. He's fouled with nine seconds left. I will say this: Usually, you want your seniors taking big shots. But that was a feeling by shot from the reigning player of the year in Kendall Williams. 21 points, 5 of 6 from the line. That's a big one. Big. That's the big one. Now here comes the nail if he can get it down. The coach is yelling black and green, switch everything. Coach Fisher. Down four, Williams. Lobos need points, they need him fast. Thames with a steal. San Diego State has the ball. Three seconds left. Wow, what a job by San Diego State. Steve Fisher, if there's a game ball in basketball, I'm giving it, Xavier Thames and Steve Fisher can have half each. No, 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 Steve Fisher <laughs> gets it all. That adjustment of going to that 1-3-1 one, one zone, that turned everything around. Well, I'll tell you this, that 1-3-1 is going to be part of the regular repertoire. <laughs> Shrigley finishing the comeback. And this court is about to be stormed. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be my first court storm. <laughs> San Diego State wins the Mountain West Conference regular season championship. They got to get their team off the court. What a comeback. What a game. Well, you know what it was? Too? We didn't see it coming. Uh, New Mexico is so in control of this game that you didn't see this, and that one change made such a difference. It threw them completely out of their game in the half court, and then the turnovers came, and good things happened. Look, this kid, Xavier Thames, played like a warrior all night tonight. Let's go to Ali LaForce in the middle of everything with Steve Fisher and Xavier Thames. Coach Fisher, you've witnessed a lot of exciting moments in your time as a head coach. Where does this one rank? This was an incredible comeback. Uh, the way they went at us and got that 15, 16 point lead and for us to have the resolve to take a deep breath and come back. And you know, we went out of desperation into a 1-3-1 zone. I was gonna say, how many times have you ran that in a game this season? Not many when it's counted. So it was a, a tremendous victory for a group of guys that deserved it. Coach, thanks so much. I'm gonna try to grab this one behind you and talk to Xavier Thames. What a game that he had. How proud are you of this senior? X epitomizes what every coach wants to have. He's selfless, he's fearless, and he's a winner. All right, let's talk to him now. Xavier, I don't want to take you away from the excitement, but you played like such a champion tonight with those two clutch free throws to make it a double-digit win. What got into you to turn things around tonight? Well, first and foremost, I got to give all the credit to God. Because without him, I want to be here right now. So give him all the credit first, and we just kept fighting. We don't want to lose this game. You know, it's for the championship, and glory to God, we won.
It's senior night. It's on your home court. And you beat the champions of the Mountain West regular season, season uh, four of the last five years. Does that mean even more to you, beating th this team in particular? Yeah, most definitely. You know, New Mexico, you know, they're a great team. You know, they've been in the league the last three years. They beat us good last game. So it was good for us to get a win. So we got to come back next week with a conference tournament and try to win out. Xavier, congratulations. Enjoy the court storming. Thank you. Guys.